Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing this mostly drugstore look using almost all Milani products. So my eyes, my highlighter, my foundation, setting spray, lips, lip liner. I'm forgetting something. Primer all came from Milani. So if you want to see how to get this Valentine's Milani inspired or Milani type products, for your Valentine's Day on a budget. Stay tuned. Okay, so today we are going to try some several products from Milani. Not a full Milani face, but a mostly full Milani face. So let's see how we do. We're going to start out with the Milani Prime Light. I do like the Becca Backlighting Filter Primer, so I want to see how well the Milani Prime Light does. Don't know if they're the same kind but it doesn't hurt to try. Plus it's always fun to try and find an affordable product. Okay, so this one is white where the other one, the Becca Backlight is like a cream or a champagne kind of color. So we're just gonna rub this all over the face. Okay, where the Becca gives it more of a champagne glow, this one gives a little bit more of an opal kind of shine to your face. Next, we're going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. So it's supposed to be foundation and a concealer, and as you saw, I've got a lot of red in my face. Um, so we're going to see how well this does, and this one is in light beige. Did a couple pumps on there. And overall, I think that that went on really nice. It took down my red. Um, I may just put a quick pump here on a beauty blender and see how that does right over my nose since my nose and my cheeks right here typically give me the biggest grief in my chin. Plus the Beauty Blender is easier to use in the eye area than the brush is, but I prefer the brush overall. Okay, so we're going to step away from Milani for a moment. I'm going to use the Painterly Paint Pot to prime the eye. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm going to step back in, not step back in, I'm going to use some air spun powder here. For my contour, I'm going to use the Makeup Geek. For the blush, I'm going to use Max Warm Soul. Going back in with Milani products now. Um, this is their Day Glow. This is a luminescent. It's a number two strobe light. Look how pretty that color is. Well, I just love the different lines. It's so pretty. So we're gonna see how this strobe light does. Ooh, wow. Go Milani. Check that out. That is pretty. Oh, this is going with me this week to Dallas. That is really, really pretty. Milani, you did a great job on that strobe light. 
and I just keep going. I'm, str I'm strobing my cheeks. And here's a little bit for the Cupid's bow. Yeah, I'm definitely taking this with me while I'm on my business travels this week. It's very pretty. Okay, so earlier today I used the Milani Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. Kind of, um, I'm 50-50 on this. So we'll wait till the end when I do a review on all these little products I just used. But um, I did prep my lips with the Milani Sugar Scrub and I did that off camera. Next we're going to use the Milani, this is in number 9, it's called Spice. Just a real pretty neutral color. And we are going to top that off with the Prismatic Touch. And this is number 12. This is the Milani Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream. So let's see how this does. I just love sparkle. Ooh, that goes on soft. Very creamy. I was expecting this to be a lot more a thick, thick consistency, and it's not. It's really lightweight, so you got to be careful if you're expecting something thick. What's going to be difficult about this is it smells just like vanilla icing, so I'm going to have to keep this way up because if I put this anywhere near one of my dogs, they will go after it because it does have a nice smell um, that smells just like vanilla icing. He steals all my lipsticks that smell like vanilla icing, so I have to keep them way up. I can't say I blame them. Okay, so I'm going to take out the Milani's little brush. Um, these are fine and great, maybe, but just not my fave. So we're going to pull that out. Um, we are going to start as a base all over with this light color here. And basically, it just says on the back, base. So it has a shimmery color, which is harder to use sometimes. Depending on how you do your eye, it can make you look older. But we're going to go ahead and try it. Okay, next we are going to use, um, this is Contour. So we're going to use Color Contour. Ooh, that had some fallout. We're going to take that from our crease closer to the brow bone. Next color here is called Crease. Well, it's not a color. It's just telling you to put it in the crease. I'm sorry. So we're going to do just that. I'm using the same brush for all these colors. It's from Pure Cosmetics. It's one of their brushes that came in. One of their um palettes and it's shedding and I've never used it. Okay, well we'll pull off the shed. I'm gonna take this black color here, which is called is for liner. I put that on this brush here. And I'm gonna start at the base of the eyelashes and work my way up. This black isn't an overly pigmented black. In the pan, it looks amazingly jet black, but as you can see on my eye, it does not come out amazingly jet black, which could be good, could be good. That means it's buildable. Um, 
So if you're afraid of using black, this could be a good starter black. I'm going to take a nice clean brush. This is just a Morphe R38. And I'm going to go over my crease where I brought that black up to the crease color. Using more of a flat brush. I'm going to go back in with this crease color for the lower lash line. I take it back. I'm going to, I'm going to use their little brush here and go with this pink and just go right under brow bone with that pink. Next we're going to try this Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. We're going to tight line, water line, and then we'll smoke out the upper line, upper lash line. And this is in number three, Hooked on Espresso. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and go lightly over or lightly above my eyelashes. With a pencil brush, I'm going to go right over the top of that eyeliner just to smudge it out a bit. Okay, so I'm going to tilt my head back and clean up any possible fallout. I'm not really too concerned about doing the eyelashes underneath as far as the false eyelashes go because um, I'm doing a smoky eye look. And really and truthfully, I don't mind using the eyelashes on top whether I'm not using a smoky eye look. So I don't know why I just said that because I put them on top regardless. Um, so I am using the Ardell and these are in the Glamour Pack. So we're going to use the little Ardell Glamour. Glamour Pack eyelashes. And you can say it like that too. The glue I'm using is Duo. It's a brush on adhesive with vitamins. So I decided to try this glue. My eyes have been incredibly sensitive. We're gonna give those a moment to bond. For mascara, I'm going to use the Falsies Push-Up Drama. Things are falling, going everywhere. Eyebrows, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This color is in chocolate. To finish this off, we are going to use the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. Ooh, that smells good. I just keep putting it on. That smells really pretty. It's supposed to, this is three in one where the foundation was two in one. So this is supposed to hydrate, illuminate, and set up to 16 hour wear, a healthy looking glow. 
refreshing effect, locks in makeup, and prolongs wear. Thank you so much for watching today's Valentine's look using Milani or mostly Milani. So I did enjoy using all of these different products. Um, the prime light was nice. It didn't hold up to the Becca, but for across the or at the drugstore, this was was a nice primer. I did love the Milani Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation and Concealer. Went on really nice went on easy and I didn't have to prime my face with a bunch of green colors to bring down the red tones in my face. So I do enjoy the Milani 2-in-1 foundation and I will be reaching for this again. Next we um, did use the Milani in Lip Liner and Spice. We used the Amori Matte Metallic Lip Cream and this color was in Prismatic Touch. I like, love, love, love their lip liners. Go on super easy, wonderful. Um, the Milani Metallic Lip, I actually thought this was going to be a thicker consistency. So when I put it on, I was not expecting a, a thinner consistency that went on really, really easy. So be careful when putting this on. It dries down to a nice matte. So as you can see, it really doesn't come off a whole lot. So that is good. Love those kind of lippies. It's just really nice, um, but it is a drying effect. So on my eyes, if I can find it, I did use the Milani Stay Put, Stay Put, Stay Put, um, Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner, and this was in number three, Hooked on Espresso. I tight lined, water lined, I did the upper um, above my eyelashes, kind of smudged that out to keep that smoky look going. And speaking of eyes, I used this Milani palette. This is in number 01, Must Have Neutrals. I did like this. Um, I thought all the colors worked really well together. The black in here, although in the pan it looks extremely like jet black over the top, I was actually concerned about doing my face first, um, but it ended up being really, really light. So that is a buildable black. As you can tell, it looks more gray on my eyes than it does as dark as it is in the pan. Loved all these colors together. So this is going to be a palette that I I just pull it and use I because they did go well together. The colors just flowed well. They blended well. Easy to put on. Um, I think the white or the base had more fallout than the rest of the colors, which was good because if I'm going to have a lot of fallout, I'd much rather have it in the light colors instead of the really dark ones. So that was nice also. Then I finished it up with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I normally use Scandinavia, um, either primer or setting spray. This one actually smells amazing. Like, I just kept wanting to put it on because it smells so clean. So I did really like the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. And allegedly this gives 16 hours um, wear. This video is not a wear test. However, um, since today is my first day using it, I will be able to give some better feedback later, maybe in another video. So I hope you enjoyed this Valentine's look by mostly by Milani. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day. Oh, and let's not forget, the best part of this Milani look was this Day Glow Luminescent Strobe Light. Look at that glow. I can't believe that I almost forgot to pick that up and tell y'all about it. Um, and I meant to tell you about the lip scrub. Holy mackerel, I'm losing my mind. So as far as the lip scrub goes, it didn't have a lot, a lot of scrub scrub in it like I had thought. Um, yeah, it smells great though. Oh my gosh, it smells kind of like the, the lipstick, which is a vanilla icing type. So um, I did have to scrape it out a little bit with my nail. I put it on. Um, it didn't have as much like little uh, sugar scrub bits in it that I had thought, but it did make um, my lips feel good. I actually rubbing my lower and top lip together seemed to get more of the scrubbing than just when I used my finger because I guess I had more scrub on top and bottom. Um, what I would probably use this for going forward is my night routine. 
Um, I think I would love to be able to put this on, scrub the lips at night. Um, the dewy, wonderful, soft feel that this is this sugar scrub is mixed with is hydrating. So I would prefer to do this at night versus a day. So then my lips are ready to go for the morning. So I did enjoy this. Um, I just use it as a night routine versus day. Okay, so now I don't think I forgot anything. Hopefully not. If not, I'm sure I can do another video and remind y'all. <laughs>